Hi there, this is Jonathan Ginsberg, and I want to answer a question I get from time to time from a Chapter 7 clients who have a problem in that they have either sold or thrown away property that was subject to a lien. In other words, an uh, example would be they went to Best Buy and bought a washer dryer, and then during the course of a move, they threw it away or they sold it to somebody to raise a few hundred dollars. What happens? And of course, in an extreme case, somebody might have a motor vehicle subject to a lien in favor of GMAC or Toyota Motor Credit, something like that, and they sold the vehicle, it was junked, whatever the case could, may be. And the answer to that is it can be a problem because you are selling something you don't fully own. Now, if the property was damaged or destroyed, um, generally uh, creditors are not going to make a big deal about that unless the contract requires you to have insurance. So, for example, if you had a motor vehicle, uh, it was totaled in an accident, there was no insurance, um, the trustee could object to the Chapter 7 discharge and then ask the court to declare uh, the damages, the amount of money still owed them, as non-dischargeable. Uh, they could, of course, sue you in state court as well, and if you try to defend it by saying the property has been destroyed, the fact you didn't have insurance would be a, a, be a big problem. My experience has been when it's electronics, a camcorder, appliances, things like that, where there's no explicit requirement for the property to be insured, um, generally the creditor is not going to make a big fuss about it. Um, now, if you sell the property, uh, what they're going to ask is, who did you sell it to and let me have the address of that person? And again, I've seen situations where creditors like a Best Buy, like a Sears, will actually contact the purchaser and say, you know, that property belongs to us, turn it back over. Um, and again, that, that's a pretty uncomfortable thing if you sold it to a friend or a, a relative, something like that, but that can certainly happen. So big picture is that my experience is usually nothing is going to happen unless it's a motor vehicle or something really major. But if you have sold or liquidated or destroyed or thrown away property that is subject to a purchase money security interest, you want to discuss that with your lawyer, make sure he knows about it prior to filing so that you can be prepared to deal with that and know how to, to make an offer to try to make it go away. And sometimes it may be you know, 10 cents on the dollar to make it go away. Sometimes it's nothing. It just really depends on the circumstances. But it is a complication in a Chapter 7 case that you will need to deal with. And my motto, of course, is no surprises. So the sooner we can deal with that, the better. Uh, I'm Jonathan Ginsberg. I'm a Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 attorney in Atlanta, Georgia. Any questions about this matter, this issue, or any other bankruptcy matter, I want you to feel free to give me a call. Thanks a lot.